Welcome to the 10 minute tutorial for research. My name is Gautam Nistala and I work in the AWS higher education research team. Hi, and my name is Travis Berkeley and I'm a solutions architect in the higher education team. Today, we are going to talk about using MATLAB on AWS for research. So let's start with what is MATLAB. MATLAB is a programming platform for engineers and scientists. MATLAB uses the MATLAB language, a high performance language used in computation, engineering, life sciences, and many areas of research. It brings together computation, visualization, and programming in an easy to use environment. A few typical uses of MATLAB include computation, data analysis, mathematical modeling, algorithm development, simulation and prototyping, scientific and engineering visualization, and application development. The MATLAB product family contains many toolboxes, including toolboxes for mathematical techniques, for example, the curve fitting toolbox and the partial differential equation toolbox, statistical data science and AI techniques, like the statistics and machine learning toolbox and the deep learning toolbox, code generation, like the MATLAB coder and the GPU coder, and application deployment, like the MATLAB compiler, MATLAB production server, and the MATLAB web application server. This video includes a demonstration to use the MATLAB web application server. So researchers often work in areas that need computational approaches that cannot be performed on a standard desktop or a laptop computer with a single chip. In such cases, they use high performance computing approaches, also called HPC. A HPC system is essentially a network of nodes, each containing one or more computational chip and associated memory. Researchers typically use on-campus clusters or cloud services for HPC applications. Some examples of HPC computation research include protein folding to determine the overall shape of proteins, the protein to ligand interactions used in applications like vaccine design, materials research and energy applications, computational fluid dynamics for aerospace applications, and large-scale weather and environmental modeling. MATLAB also offers the Parallel Computing Toolbox and the MATLAB Parallel Server for HPC applications. MATLAB's Parallel Computing Toolbox is used in HPC applications using multi-core processors, GPUs, and computer clusters for parallelized numerical algorithms. HPC applications can be run on campus clusters and cloud services using the MATLAB Parallel Server. Researchers can develop a prototype on their personal computer and then scale out to a computer cluster without having the need to recode. So MATLAB can be run on AWS. Here's a few ways researchers can take advantage of running MATLAB on AWS. MATLAB on AWS can help researchers collaborate. Research data stored on Amazon's simple storage service, Amazon S3, could be accessed by using the full path to the S3 bucket. Large data sets stored in the cloud can be processed using MATLAB in AWS without having to download to local machines. Researchers can share MATLAB applications with other researchers with other users that do not have MATLAB running on their own workstations. Using the MATLAB web application server on AWS, they can share results or run the same analyses on their own datasets. AWS analytics and database services like Amazon Aurora, Amazon RDS, Amazon Athena, Amazon DynamoDB could be accessed via MATLAB. With AWS, you can scale to high performance clusters using the MATLAB parallel server and also incorporate MATLAB analytics into applications with the MATLAB production server. There are various ways you can access MATLAB on AWS. GitHub repositories are available for various reference architecture for MATLAB, MATLAB production server, and the MATLAB parallel server. On the AWS side, AWS account and SSH key pair are required. And on the MATLAB side, you would need your MathWorks account and a MATLAB license. MATLAB can also be accessed uh, via Amazon AppStream and Amazon Workspaces. MathWorks uses Amazon AppStream 2.0 for hands-on MATLAB deep learning workshops with customers. AppStream 2.0, in fact, enabled MathWorks to instantly deliver MATLAB to workshop participants. Previously, MathWorks customers had to manage customers' unique software installations on different computers for every workshop. It could take up to three days to get everything ready. With AppStream, MathWorks customers don't have to install or configure anything for a workshop. They simply open a browser on their computer and instantly get started. AppStream 2.0 allowed MathWorks scale on demand 
for a need number of customers and reduce the time it took to deploy their workshops by 75%. I am now going to pass the baton to my colleague, Travis Berkeley, to demonstrate using the MATLAB web application server on AWS. Thank you, Gautam. So as you can see here, I am using Amazon Workspaces so that I can use a persistent desktop to run my MATLAB desktop application. What I'm going to demonstrate is what a typical application may look like uh, running on the desktop application, and then share that application with someone who doesn't have a, a native MATLAB product, but is simply going to use a web browser. So here I have an application that I have written, and I'm just gonna run this application quickly so you can see what it looks like. You can see that it brings up its own window. It has a, just two simple elements. It has a graphical area where it's going to draw something, and then one simple slider control that I can interact with. And by moving this slider, um, the, the application simply draws a few curves, and it's fully interactive so that if I move the slider again, it redraws the curves. So let's see how we can share this application with another user. What we'll first do is go to our applications uh, selection and pick the web application compiler. That will bring up another dialog box where we can simply choose our application and have it be compiled for use by the web application server. So let me pick my slider control application that I've made. You can see that it pulls out information from the application that you would uh, put in as you were building it. For example, the title, the author, the version, and a, a small description that you may have in there. I'm gonna go ahead and begin packaging the application, and it's gonna ask me where to create the project files, and by default, those will be in the same location as the application. As this is building, I'd like to point out this little checkbox here. If you happen to be using a shared file system, maybe EFS, FSx for Windows, FSx for Luster, if they're accessible both by your workstation and the server itself, you can directly copy the file to that location upon completion. I'm gonna keep those functions separate for this demonstration. Now that our application is finished compiling, you can see what that looks like on your disk. You can see how I have my original MATLAB application as well as the project file. And then in a subdirectory, you'll see some log files showing what all was done during that compilation. And then the compiled file, which I will need to share with my application or with my web application server. So let's go see what that looks like. First, you can see that I've got the web application server running on an Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instance. And I have a web server running. Now you can see I have one application out there already, but it's not the slider application that I just built. So allow me to simply copy that into the directory and reload. And you can see that the application is instantly available. Now if I click the diagnostics button in the upper right, it's going to give me a catalog of all of my applications, as well as what version they are and the author who created them. And the other interesting thing about the MATLAB web application server is that you can have multiple versions of different runtimes installed. As you can see, my slider application is running on R2020A, and the other application was running on R2020B. And this status message helps confirm that not only does it like my application file, but that the proper runtimes have been installed and are at the ready. So let's launch our application and see how it looks in comparison with the desktop application. As you can see, it brings it up in its own tab in my browser. It's going to create a very similar looking window with the same graphic elements and same slider controls. And I can interact with it in exactly the same way I did before. So now I can share this with another user who does not have MATLAB installed, and yet I do not have to give up my source code or a copy of the compiled application. They can simply consume it. And then I can use other AWS tools, such as security groups, firewalls, any other type of authentication mechanism to further control who may or may not have access to this. And that concludes our demonstration for uh, today. We'd like to thank you for your time, and Gautam, I'll turn it back over to you for closing remarks. Thank you, Travis. If you have any questions, 
please uh, look at the details below.